and welcome back to I Put a Spell on You series. Okay, so today we are using this beautiful little book that I dug out of my um, library. It is called Hoodoo Honey and Sugar Spells by Deacon Millet. And already you know what kind of stuff this is. This is all about sweet love magic in the conjure tradition. So there you go. Take a look at the book. You can get it on Amazon. So I found this really cool little spell and it's under the container spells. Um, it's a sugar shaker to excite passion. So this is going to be a spell for somebody who is probably in contact with the individual, maybe even dating them, uh, I would say. Uh, probably not so much for those who are broken up. However, I can't imagine that it can't hurt on top of the multitude of other spells that you could certainly do. This just adds a little oomph to it and it's super easy. All you need for this spell, and I'm going to read it from the book, is sugar, juniper berries, you can take a look, and a jar. Super simple. Oh, and I forgot. A piece of paper. And I used to, I um, ugh, can't even speak. I usually use brown paper bag because that is the tradition that one would use in hoodoo, um, santeria, palo, things of that nature. I like to use brown paper bag. In fact, I actually like to use brown paper bag more than paper, white paper, parchment paper even. I am so partial to this because it works. <laughs> and of course a pen. All right, so here is what this says. It says, a sugar shaker to excite passion. Place an appropriately sized petition paper. So we're gonna tear some paper off of here uh, within a bottle. Well, we have a little jar, okay? With your writing facing inward. Fill with granulated sugar. So in other words, you're going to face it inward. Mm, I guess. Well, for me, what that means, even though they're not being specific, would be tear, tear your paper. And what I would do with this piece of paper, I would write the person's name and then I would write your name three times over it or one time over it just because when you're writing your name over it, you're actually dominating the situation or dominating the person. And then I would put it face down so it's inward Hence is when you put your stuff, you're adding it on top. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day because it's actually gonna get shaken up. That's why it's a shaker. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> so let me continue. Okay, so place an appropriately sized petition paper with, within a bottle with your writing facing inward. Fill with granulated sugar, add seven juniper berries, seal and shake, when physical romance is desired. So this is like, okay, you're going out on a date. I'm going to shake my jar. <laughs> okay, here we go. So there is no chance. There is nothing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the name of the individual. I'm just going to make up a name. All right. All right, so I've made up a name. And now I'm going to write my name over top of their name or you would write your name over top of the name as the target, um, I mean, to dominate the target. All right, so now this is like written, and I only wrote it once, so I'm going to take the name paper, and I'm going to put it so that the names are actually facing up, hence inward, get it? They are inward, they are inward, the names are inward. Then I'm going to place my sugar into the jar. And you want to leave some room. Like, I don't think I'm going to fill it all the way up. Because if I'm shaking it, I want it to actually, like, shake. Because even, like, a lot of times, like, sugar jars that you make with honey, you shake them up and it just, like, causes their mind to, like, hey, hello, wake up. All right, so seven juniper berries. Let me show you what these guys look like. If you haven't seen a juniper berry, they look like dried blueberries. So you want seven of these. So there's four, five, 
six, and seven. So there is seven juniper berries that I shall play. So you want to bless them. You want to bless the sugar too, but I didn't. But do you want to like speak what speak to it like I bless and I empower these juniper berries to sweeten and excite. Okay. So you're gonna put those into the jar. So it looks like that. Kind of looks good. <laughs> looks like you're baking. Okay. So now you have it into the jar and now you're just going to shake it up to make that target and focus your intention on bringing that target to you and that target being obsessed with you, excited to want to be with you. You are sweet on this person or they are sweet on you. Yeah. So anytime, and of course it's still, you know, it's still there. So again, according to this book, shake it up. <laughs> All right. So a sugar shaker ex excites a passion. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Very super simple to make. It's a shaker jar. I'm going to look in here and next week I'll be doing uh, another one of these spells, if not a couple of them, but I'll check it out and see um, if anything works for you. If you tried this spell and it works, please leave a, leave a comment down below and let me know your results so we know if this book works, if it's a yay or a nay. Do you kick it to the curb or not? Alrighty guys, until the next time, many, many blessings to you and happy God.